What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you the most amazing off the hook Alexander McQueen bag. And I did get it on a very questionable website, but I did save about a thousand dollars on the bag. So Alexander McQueen, I feel like is kind of underrated in the sense that you just can't find that much information online. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the website that I bought it on, which is called satire.com and my experience with it because the reviews are pretty bad and very questionable, but I did take a calculated risk. So the bag I'm gonna show you, uh, which we'll do first, is this is the box that it came in, and it was not packaged great at all. Actually, um, it literally came where the bag was opened and it kind of looked like that. It was really bad. Um, this is the tissue paper exactly how it was shown. It was just like tangled up with the bag. So it was not packaged well at all, but uh, this Alexander McQueen bag, I guess because of the bags that they typically make, which have the brass knuckles, um, this very foamy protectant inside. So that made me feel a little bit better during the shipment process. That's the way that it was packaged. And we'll go through more about my experience of buying this bag on Satire. The bag that I'm gonna show you though is this gorgeous Alexander McQueen bag. And I'll put the name up of what exactly it's called, but this to me is just off the hook gorgeous. Like I can't even tell you how in love with this I am. It is this um, dual colored metal, which is a silver and the gold. And then it has a separate longer strap that is a uh, shoulder carry. It is adjustable with five holes. And this is quite comfortable because it's not just chain. It's a small bag, I'm not gonna lie. I was between this bag and there was a slightly larger bag and it was made of wicker and it also had the brass knuckles on it. Uh, that was also Alexander McQueen. And I was really close to buying that one instead because I love the juxtaposition between the raffia and the brass knuckles on that bag. As I kept thinking about it, it seemed like it was too seasonal of a bag and I really want to get a lot of use out of my bag. So I decided I was gonna get this one. My only concern about this one was how wearable is it? Because I know when you think about Alexander McQueen, it's very ornate. And I think people, myself included, sometimes worry about how wearable things are so that you can get your cost per wear. And I don't wanna just reserve this for evenings and nights out. So I really had to think about it and I had to do a lot of research. There's not, there's like one review I saw on this bag and it's not even this bag, it's very similar. The older season bags, as I understand it, is this bag without these two chains. The new season bag, which is this one, has these two chains, and this is really what steps it up for me and really kicks it up a notch or 10. It, this is what really sold me. I wouldn't have gotten it if this didn't have the two chains in front. So it is small, and I will show you what fits inside. And I'll also show you a couple of ways in which I think I could style this to make sure it is a wearable bag and not just reserved for evenings or fancy occasions. But this is so gorgeous. How freaking cool is this? It's a forest green color with the gold and silver hardware. It's the brass knuckles, which you just slip your fingers right in like that. And it's got this I'm not the biggest fan typically of mock croc, but in this bag, the mock croc really makes this bag. It just adds so much more dimension and it goes well with the entire look of the bag. But I want to also talk to you about my experience with satire.com. So satire is, as I understand it, if you look on the website, is an Australian website and it's kind of like um, a far fetch, I think. So they carry multiple brands. For some reason, it's really marked down compared to other websites. There's no question about its authenticity. Everything is brand new. It's not a used website or anything like that. As far as if you do research on the reviews of Satire, it is pretty bad. And so I did take a calculated risk. So some of the reviews were either five stars, got everything the way I was supposed to, ordered it, got the product, everything was perfect, smooth experience. 
done. But really the biggest things were unresponsiveness on customer service. Uh, people have ordered something and they were waiting weeks or months for it to arrive. And the other one was they got the wrong item. And that's like, those three were I think the biggest complaints in terms of the themes that I, that I read through. And that's kind of scary. And I think you would probably agree that most sensible people would not want to order on the website, given those types of reviews. I definitely had to think about this for a few days. I decided I was going to purchase it, take a calculated risk, and I bought it with my American Express card. And that's what I would recommend if you're going to take a calculated risk. American Express has always been amazing in terms of backing me up if I ever had a problem. So I was pretty confident in making sure that if I didn't get any kind of resolution with Satire, that I was gonna get some sort of resolution through Amex. Now, Satire, if you go on the website, has no description, almost no description. It's like two lines. It's a leather bag and it's green. That's basically all it said. So it's not modeled on anyone. There's no other information like i wasn't sure if this these chains were attached to this or if it was separate there's just no information so i had to go online and look at various different websites for different pictures different information and description for this bag neiman marcus was actually selling this bag too at a thousand dollars more than this entire price but it had a lot more description i knew it was the exact same bag and um, it also had pictures of the model modeling it. So it gave me a lot more comfort in understanding sort of how this would fall against your body and how small it was. In reality, I ordered this on a Sunday. The shipment notification came out straight away on Monday morning and I received this by Thursday and it was coming from Italy. But in that short period of time between Sunday and Monday, I was like, did I do the right thing? So that was not, that was not bad. I was very surprised and uh, it was a pretty good experience. Now, the question is, will I purchase from Satire again? I will not because even though I had a good experience this time, I don't really wanna roll the dice and keep taking chances. In this case, I wanted to try it and see how my experience went. I'm pleased that it went well. So anyway, this is the bag. I'm gonna show you what fits in it. So let's get to that. So here is the bag and I'm going to show you what fits inside. I've already pre-packed it. I did put it on this little blanket here because the chains are pretty loud and I don't want the sound to be distracting so that you can hear what I'm saying. So this is a magnetic closure and it's got a button. So the button snaps but it's also attracted by magnets so that it kind of does that snap easily. It says Alexander McQueen here and this is what I have stuffed inside. It's a pretty stiff flat, uh, flap, so you really do have to put some effort in holding it open. So I have a lipstick. This is a six ring key holder, and it does have keys inside. This is my phone, which I am filming on, but this is my phone case. This is the iPhone 11. And then a card holder or a little pouch. So I would say it fits, this phone is an iPhone 11 as I said, and that's kind of how it fits. So you do have to kind of put it there on the end where, because it curves on the inside. So it is probably easier to do that. But I would say it fits a pretty decent amount given how tiny this bag is. And it's got one little slip pocket in the back. Now my one complaint about this bag is that there's quite a gap, even though it is very securely clasped, there is quite a gap between the flap and the bag when it's closed. It's not huge or humongous, but I would like for it to kind of close a bit more. That would be my only thing. So let me show you how I would style this. So for me, it was really important to style this bag with an outfit that's very wearable for me and realistic. And part of that is wearing jeans. I tend to wear a lot of skinny jeans. These are one of my favorite worn skinny jeans. They're from Zara from so many years ago. They are 
pretty worn in terms of the denim and fitted. And I just paired it with a regular crew neck sweater that is navy blue in color. And then I just threw on a leather moto jacket from Aritzia that I've had for many years. And I tend to wear this moto jacket every spring and uh, fall because it's just so wearable. And of course, because it's Alexander McQueen, it's a pretty edgy bag. I wanted to pair it with kind of an edgy look with the moto jacket, uh, but still kind of pair it down with the jeans to make it very wearable. And then the second look is a very wearable, casual, everyday outfit that I would typically wear. Again, with my red Tom shoes. I've had these cargo pants from Aritzia since, goodness, I don't even know how long, probably since 2015 or something like that. Uh, it's like a cotton linen-y um, cargo pant, and it's kind of like a jogger style. And I paired it with a graphic white t-shirt, and then I just put like a button-down dark denim shirt over it. It's very thin, and I just rolled up the cuffs a little bit just to make it a little bit more casual. And this is the look, and it's very wearable in my opinion, and something that's very me. But I think this bag goes really well with this outfit even though the bag is kind of ornate. I feel like I'm really toning down the bag with this outfit. And let me know your thoughts on this outfit. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful in terms of what fits inside and how I would style it on a realistic, everyday, wearable basis. And let me know your thoughts about Alexander McQueen. Have you ever considered the brands? Does this change your mind at all? and uh, what your thoughts are on this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please consider binge watching some of my other videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.